Great are the works of the Lord. Good evening, saints. Good evening. And a very happy New Year to all of you. The order of worship that we will follow this evening on this uh, New Year's Eve can be found up on the screens in your worship folder, or if you have a personal device, you can follow along there by logging on to mountcalvaryworship.org. This evening, we will be uh, celebrating the Lord's Supper, and in keeping with God's word, we follow the practice of close communion. Therefore, we ask that if you are not a Wells or ELS member, that you refrain from coming up to the Lord's Supper this evening until we have had a chance to express a common faith with you and you with us. Let us then begin the worship of our Lord and Savior as we enter into a new year. We'll start by singing our first hymn this evening, hymn number 70. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. And also with you. As another year comes to a close, we remember the years gone by. I remember the days of long ago. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a parched land. Answer me quickly, O Lord. My spirit fails. Do not hide your 
Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Rescue me from my enemies, O Lord, for I hide myself in you. For your name's sake, O Lord, preserve my life. In your righteousness, bring me out of trouble. We join together in singing our next hymn. Hymn number 69 will sing the first three stanzas of Across the Sky, the Shades of Night. Please rise. As another year comes to a close, we repent of our sins of the past. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I trust, O my God. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph me. me. No one whose hope is in you will ever be put to shame, but they will be put to shame who are treacherous without excuse. Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior. My hope is in you all day long. Remember, O Lord, your great mercy and love, for they are from of old. Remember not the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways. According to your love, remember me, for you are good, O Lord. God, our Heavenly Father, has been merciful to us.
and has given His only Son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Therefore, as a called servant and by His authority, I forgive you all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may be seated as we sing our next hymn. Hymn number 64, Let Us All With Gladsome Voice. As another year comes to a close, we reflect on the deeds and miracles of our God. You kept my eyes from closing. I was too troubled to speak. Will the Lord reject forever? Will he never show his favor again? Has his unfailing love vanished forever? Has his promise failed for all time? Has God forgotten to be merciful? Has he in his anger withheld his compassion? Then I thought, to this I will appeal, the years of the right hand of the Most High. Your ways, O oh God, are holy. What God is so great as our God? You are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the peoples. With your mighty arm, you redeemed your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. The word of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, twenty twenty was not the year in which the Lord made the heavens and the earth. No seas were parted. The sun did not stand still. 2020 was not the year the Savior was born. I don't know of any water that was changed into wine. 5,000 people were not fed with uh, five loaves of bread and two fish. 
No dead people came out of the grave and were raised from the dead. 2020 was not the year of Jesus' transfiguration or crucifixion or resurrection or ascension. And in 2020, we didn't see Jesus come back to judge the living and the dead. Although maybe there's still about, what, five and a half hours left, so who knows. All of these deeds and and miracles of our God, they happened long ago. But it it is these past deeds and miracles of our God that we will want to reflect back on as we look back to 2020 and look ahead to 2021. Go ahead and ask anyone. And I'm sure that they will be glad to tell you that 2020 is behind us. COVID was more than enough in in our reaction to COVID. But all the riots, protests, election controversy, you add all that in just for fun, and who of us didn't find ourselves asking at some point in 2020 these questions? Will the Lord reject us forever? Will he never show his favor again? Has his unfailing love vanished forever? Has his promise failed for all time? Has God forgotten to be merciful? Has he in anger withheld his compassion? If all that we had to go on was the year 2020, we might be inclined to answer all of these questions with a, yeah, he has. But 2020 was just one of thousands of years that have gone by in the history of this world. Therefore, if we want to give an intelligent answer to these questions... We need to reflect on the deeds and miracles of our Lord. We will want to take into account the year the Lord promised Adam and Eve that from their offspring would come someone who would crush the serpent's head. And don't forget about the year that God sent a a flood rescuing Noah and his family. Then there was the year that God did have the sun stand still and part the Red Sea. And think about those 40 years in a row where God fed his people with manna from heaven while they were out there in the wilderness. We will want to reflect on the year that Jesus fed the 5,000 and raised the dead and healed the sick. Then there are those years for the record books in which the Savior was born and died and rose and ascended into heaven. Don't forget about the year. He's also promised to come back. And then there's the year 2020. Don't forget about that year either. For that too is another year of his grace in which he preserved us, protected us, provided for us. Another year in which he gave us an opportunity to read and study his word, even if it meant in some different ways. 
2020 was a year in which he showered his grace upon us when we deserve none of it. As we reflect on the deeds and miracles of the Lord, as we meditate on all of his mighty works and consider his deeds, Do we really want to answer these questions, you know, of will the Lord reject us forever? Will he never show his favor again? Has his promise failed for all time? Has God forgotten to be merciful? Has he in anger withheld his compassion? Do we really want to answer those questions with a yes? We appeal to the ears of the right hand of the Lord Most High, which even includes 2020, and say, the Lord has not rejected us. The Lord has shown us his favor. His unfailing love has not vanished. God has not forgotten to be merciful. He has not withheld his compassion. Over the history of the world, look at what he has done. He created this world perfectly. And when man destroyed this perfection, God promised to send a savior for mankind. Throughout all the years of history, he has been controlling history in such a way to keep that promise. And 2020 is no different. God is still controlling history and our lives in keeping with his promise. This evening, as we reflect on the deeds and miracles of our God from long ago, as we reflect on the past year, we see God's ways are holy. We ask, what God is so great as our God? What other God would be so great as to care for and protect us and allow us to live, people who deserve only death? What other God is so great, controlling all of history to make the time just right in history, to send his own son into the world, to be the sacrifice for sin and way of salvation? What other God would be so great as to prove that sin, the punishment for sin, has been paid for by rising from the dead? What other God would be so great as to prove to us that our place in heaven is prepared and that he is coming back to be with him by his ascension into heaven? There is no other God as great as our God, not simply because he's the only God there is. But as we reflect on the deeds and miracles of our God, we see that our God has done and continues to do great things. Not one of his promises has ever failed. Not one. Not one of his words has ever returned empty empty or rang hollow. Not one. 2020 may have been an absolutely horrible year. But God continues to be the Lord. The faithful God who keeps all of his promises.
and you and I, we can expect more of the great things from our God in 2021. Without question, there are going to be days in 2021 when those same questions are going to arise. Some catastrophe, some death, some disaster will instill doubt in us and we will ask, Will the Lord reject forever? Will he never show his favor again? Has his unfailing love vanished forever? Has his promise failed for all time? Has God forgotten to be merciful? Has he in anger withheld compassion? When these questions arise, to this we will appeal. The years of the right hand of the Most High. We will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, we will remember your miracles of long ago. We will meditate on all your works and consider all your mighty deeds. And when we do, you know what's going to happen? We're going to come to the same conclusion as the psalmist. Your ways, O God, are holy. There is no God as great as our God. With his mighty arm, he has redeemed us, his people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. And then there is 2020. Somehow at the end of uh, every year, we've gotten into the custom, the habit of reflecting back, you know, trying to remember what made headlines in 2020. And as we reflect back on what made headlines in 2020, we may find ourselves questioning God's love, compassion, kindness, promises. But remember this, 2020 is not the only year in history. There have been thousands of other years to reflect on the history of our God. The story this history tells is God is who he always is. He is the God who does not tolerate rebellion, wickedness, and sin. He is the God who forgives rebellion, wickedness, and sin. He is the God who forgives this world of doubting his love, questioning his compassion, rebelling against his authority. He is the God who forgives all of that because in the year that the first census took place, while Quirinius was governor of Syria, A Savior was born. And in the year that Pilate washed his hands and let Barabbas go, the Savior was crucified. And it was in that same year that the Savior rose from the dead. Throughout the years, 2020 included God's compassion and faithfulness 
and promises have endured and will continue to endure until the year comes in which our Savior will come back. And so until then, each year we're going to reflect on the deeds and miracles of our God that happened so long ago. And we will look forward to the years to come. Amen. Please rise. Now may the peace of God which surpasses all understanding keep your hearts and minds in faith not only in 2020, but in the years to come. Faith in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. You may be seated as the offerings of God's people are brought forward. We join together in prayer. I will exalt you, my King, my God, the King. I will praise your name forever and ever. It is fitting, O oh Lord, in the final hours of this year to express our gratitude for the countless gifts of grace we have received from you. You clothe your creation with beauty. You feed even the birds and tell us that we are much more valuable than they. Clothing and food, safety and health, possessions and money, even life itself. All these things come to us from your generous hand. We thank you especially for your word and holy supper, which strengthens our faith, shields us from temptation, and equips us for service. And Father, we offer up a special prayer this evening on behalf of Corinne Kapenke as she struggles with her eyesight. Lord, we ask that you would give her eyes of faith to reflect on your deeds and see that you are a God full of compassion and mercy and majesty. We pray that you would restore her vision, but Lord, you know best. Never allow her to lose sight of your salvation, which you have won for her and her Savior. And now, Lord, hear us as we bring you our own private petitions. Almighty and eternal God, you have been gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love, as you led your people Israel with a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night, so lead us by the light of your word, that we may live our lives to your glory and be prepared to die in your peace. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. 
Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Please rise. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is good and right so to do. It is truly good and right that we should at all times and in all places give you thanks, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For in the wonder and mystery of his birth, You have opened our eyes to the glory of your grace and renewed in our hearts the fervor of your love. Therefore, with all the saints on earth and hosts of heaven, we praise your holy name and join their glorious song. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night he was betrayed, took bread. When he had given thanks, he broke it and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. He took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you for the remission of sins. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. You may be seated. At this time, the ushers will dismiss by pews. If you are in need of a gluten-free wafer, you will find those on the silver tray located on the table. Come, for all things are ready.
take and drink. This is the true blood of your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Take and eat. This is the true body of our Lord take and drink. Jesus Christ. This is the Give true blood of your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, shed on the cross for you. Take and eat. This is the true body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the true blood of your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, shed upon the cross for you. Take and drink. This is the true blood of your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Take and drink. This is the true blood of your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Shine on the cross for you. Take and eat. This is the true body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Give not the death for the forgiveness of all your sins. Take and drink. This is the true blood. Your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, shed upon the cross for you. Take and eat. This is the true body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Give not the death for the forgiveness of all your sins. Take and eat. This is the true body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Take and drink. This is the true blood of your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Shed on the cross for the remission of all of your sins. Take and drink. Give not the death for the forgiveness of sins. Take and drink. This is the true blood of your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the true blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Give not the death for the forgiveness of sins. Take and drink. This is the true blood of your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, which was shed upon the cross for you, for the remission of all your sins. Take and drink. This is the true blood of your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, shed upon the cross for you. Thank you. 
Now may our Savior's true body and blood strengthen, preserve, and protect you and keep you in the one true and saving faith until life everlasting. Rejoice, your sins are forgiven. For you have a Savior who was born for you. Be at peace. Amen. We pray. Eternal Father, before whom all generations rise and fall, teach us to think earnestly on the brevity of our lives and on the immensity of your goodness. Help us to enter the new year trusting in the name of your Son and walking in the way of his peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. We close this evening with our final hymn, hymn number 75, Father, Let Me Dedicate.
Saints of God, God's richest blessing.